Hey guys, so here I am and I picked up some uh, CO2 extract from Yakima Valley Hops. Um, really looking forward to uh, trying these out a little bit more. So far I've only used them twice and both times was in the uh, Heady Topper clone. So I went ahead and bought a can of extract. I'm going to go ahead and start to use this more and more with other types of beers. So really looking forward to that. Also uh, bought in 18 syringes to use in order to put them in and I'll store them in the refrigerator. The last two I had in the refrigerator, they lasted you know, a good six months and you know, it was still just as bright and orange as they were when I first got them. So I'm not worried about storing these in the fridges for long periods of time, but uh, you never know. Maybe do some more brewing and maybe they won't last a little long. But I've also, uh, I got some hot water here, so I'm going to go ahead and just stick this in the hot water, sort of let that get really soft, and I'm going to go ahead and crack that can open and uh, see what it's like. Okay, so here we go. Got the uh, syringes standing by. And I think it's important to note that these are with the, uh, the tips as well, so... Um, I'll be able to use these tips. Wow, that looks really nice in there. Man, that smells so good. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that right in here. Let that just float. It's not gonna turn over. That's nice hot water, keep it nice and liquidy. You see here on the top is, it's got some on there, but not so much that I would worry about. So all right, so let's look at these uh, at these syringes here. So I got them with the uh, the tips, so the hobby tips. So when you order these, you look for these. You can look them up as like uh, glue syringes or hobby glue syringes, and they come out with these tips. And you want the green ones. I think these are. Uh, 10 gauge, something like that. So they'll screw right up in there. Oop. And you can use those to fill them up with. So each one of these, 10 milliliters, I've got 18 of them. So let's go ahead and start to fill them up and see how many I get.
It's right on the 10 mark. It's right up to the top. So let's count out how many I got and see what we got here. See if I got my money's worth. So this guy was supposed to be 100 grams. How many cylinders is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I got sixteen ten milliliters full. So that's 160 milliliters right there. Excellent. Looking forward to putting those things to work. Good stuff. See, okay, I've got uh, four of these left. I remember uh, watching Colorado Fly Fisherman. I think he filled up uh, 16 as well. And I knew I was going to be somewhere in the neighborhood, so I went ahead and ordered, made sure I ordered a couple extra, so I had 18 here total. Um, uh, well, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, right, so sorry here, 20 sets. So there's 20 total. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just a little bit of residual uh, oil here left over. It's really not much, like you know, half a milliliter, if anything. Same with what's left over in here. Those things worked out really, really well. The ability to have these needles in there just going right down into it. I'm um, really happy with the result. Um, yeah, those were great. I'll put links for where I bought these things down in the uh, description of this video. So yeah, that's it. I hope you uh, liked what you saw. Okay, so I'm brewing up this beer that uses a hop shot. I bought the uh, hop shot extract off from yakimavalleyhops.com. So on there, they'll reference a sheet for you that's up on northernbrewer.com, I believe. And it tells you basically how much to use. So for a five gallon batch, if you want IBUs, 50 IBUs, for a wart that's, let's say, 1.050, then you want to use about five milliliters. Now, this is pretty good, but, uh, if you want to do it for 10 gallons, then what do you do? Well, they've got some samples down here, examples of the math that's required in order to get this right. But I found that, you know, example three, if they want 60 IBUs at 90 minutes uh, for five gallons of beer at 1.150, you know, the math on this comes out 70, you know, their end result is 7.2. The math is actually wrong. It's 7.2. 0 2 is what it should be uh, that's my belief maybe I'm wrong on my math but uh, so <clears throat> anyways that's not the point the point here anyways it's complicated um, I don't want to sit here and explain this to you because it's silly so I went ahead and made a spreadsheet for it and let me go ahead and share that with you now I'll show you how to use it and what it's all about Okay, so what I have here is what I'm calling my hop shot chart. Hop shot chart. So what you guys can do is uh, navigate to it from the uh, link in the description of this video. First thing you should probably do is just do a file and then uh, move to a folder or download as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. You know, save that to somewhere for your own purpose. Um, this is up here, and I'm going to share this with everybody. So just go ahead and take it, use it but uh, don't modify it here on the sheet, let other people use it. Anyways, uh, pretty simple steps. Um, should select the batch size, set the desired IBUs for that batch size, and then observe the recommendation um, down here based on the amount of gravity, which is in this graph here. So let's say I'm gonna be doing a five gallon batch, and I want 50 IBUs for my hop shot, I'll go ahead and enter, enter that in, and then wherever it is I'm on my gravity, so for my target gravity, I'm going to estimate I'm going to be brewing up a beer that's a 1.050, and I'm going to be doing a 60-minute boil. So for that, I'm going to choose this uh, column here, this cell, so I'm going to be choosing 5 milliliters for that brew. 
if I was actually going to be building a big brew and I wanted 50 IBUs in a 1.080 or let's say a 1.090 beer, then I would want to go ahead and add in 5.5 milliliters of a hop shot to get 50 IBUs. If I was going to be doing a 90 minute boil and I'm adding in the hop shot at 90 minutes, then I only have to add in 4.95, almost 5 milliliters in order to get the same effect because the yeah, summarization is going to be over a longer period of time and therefore have better utilization. So if I change this to 10 gallons uh, and I'm going to target say 45 IBUs for my hop shot, I'm going to be doing a 60 minute boil. My gravity is going to be 1.050 so that again falls here within this line going to be doing a 60 minute boil so then I'll need 9 milliliters in order to get 45 IBUs in a 10 gallon batch. So using the set the batch size, set the desired IBUs for that shop, hop shop, will it go in at 60 minutes or will it go at 90 minutes? And then based on your gravity, where uh, will determine how much uh, milliliters of hop shot you need to add. I hope this helps.